I'm Sarah McBride, author of Tomorrow Will Be Different, Love, Loss, and the Fight for Trans Equality. We are at a critical moment in the fight for transgender equality. Over the last decade, we witnessed historic progress in our fight for both legal and social equality for transgender people in this country. And condemn the persecution of women or religious minorities or people who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. But we also saw as we made progress in changing hearts and minds and updating our laws that our nation's march towards a more perfect union is never linear. We've witnessed more than 130 anti-LGBTQ bills introduced in 30 states in 2017, many of those bills targeting transgender youth in particular. We've witnessed an increase in hate-based violence. 2017 was actually the deadliest year on record for the transgender community. We've also seen a new administration that is doing their best to roll back the clock on our progress. We've seen the rescinding of life-saving guidance promoting the protection of transgender students. The Department of Justice and Education are expected to roll back Obama-era guidance that advises schools to let transgender kids use the bathroom that corresponds with their gender identity. And obviously an attempt to ban transgender people from serving the country they love. We have our work cut out for us. In fact, many of our biggest battles remain ahead of us. But at the end of the day, what is most important for people to understand is that behind this national conversation on transgender rights are real people who hurt when we're mocked, who hurt when we're discriminated against, and who just want to be treated with dignity and fairness. Transgender people, like LGBTQ people across the board, still lack clear and explicit protections from discrimination in a majority of states and at the federal level. Hate-based violence is on the rise, targeting in particular transgender women of color. Too many young transgender people are rejected by their families or bullied at school. But that can change. I encourage you to visit hrc.org or transequality.org to find out more and to check out my book, which isn't just about my own personal journey, but also about the change that I've been able to witness firsthand as an activist and the unfinished work of the transgender community.